Meet Jasmine. Jasmine is a state college junior about to move into her first apartment. Jasmine thinks she has everything she needs, everything from books to bedsheets. However, she's actually missing one thing, renter's insurance. Jasmine is stunned. What is renter's insurance, and why does she need it? Well, let's start with the what. Like most types of insurance, renter's insurance reduces the costs associated with a risk, in this case the risk of your personal items being damaged or stolen, in return for a monthly fee called a premium. Not only that, renter's insurance can even cover the legal fees and medical expenses that could result from someone being injured in your apartment. Sounds pretty great, right? So how does renter's insurance work exactly? Well, almost all renter's insurance policies work through a deductible and a limit. A deductible is simply the amount of money Jasmine must pay per incident before her insurer pays the rest, while a limit is the maximum amount her insurer will pay. For example, let's say Jasmine's insurance plan has a $200 deductible and her apartment recently suffered a fire that destroyed $5,000 worth of personal property. Under her plan, Jasmine only has to pay the first $200 of that bill. Her insurer will cover the rest, up to $25,000, her limit. Jasmine is intrigued. After all, saving $4,800 is pretty compelling. But still, is renter's insurance truly necessary? Well, technically no. Unless her landlord requires renter's insurance, and many do, Jasmine can technically avoid the purchase. However, in the long run, avoiding renter's insurance just isn't a good move. One, it's not that expensive, only about $20 a month. And two, it covers expenses that your landlord just won't namely stolen or damaged possessions. So, is avoiding a $20 payment each month really worth the risk of someday being saddled with a massive bill? We think not. Hopefully you and Jasmine now better understand how renter's insurance works. Be sure to check out our next video, where you can learn how to actually get renter's insurance, and be sure to check out our website, where you can find more educational material and free recommendations for great renter's insurance plans.